I never knew her real name. I just knew her as Halmini. We never really spoke. She only spoke in Korean. I'd greet her through hand gestures. She would stare poker faced. She was the grandma of a classmate from grade school. And I was the new friend. When I think of Halmani, which means grandma in Korean, three things stand out. Her eyes, her silk brocade jacket, and her short rib stew. We often spent time at their kitchen table, eating, doing homework, playing board games, and telling stories. Sometimes, Halmani would sit with us while she chopped vegetables, but she kept to herself. There was something comforting about the rhythm of her chopping vegetables, but her eyes expressionless. Once I was caught staring, and she winked. I wondered, was it her way of being playful? A nervous tick or a reaction to onions? Although she didn't speak much to her grandchildren, she had her way of communicating and rarely without affection. My friend spoke to her in English. She would respond with cute little gestures or a simple smile. Always a smile. Even if the story was sad. I rarely thought about Halmani until one winter while living in New York City and preparing for a snowstorm. I was at the grocery and had a craving for Korean short rib stew. I picked up the ingredients I remembered seeing in Halmani's kitchen almost 20 something years ago. Halmani made her stew the traditional way. I like to brown the meat and oven roast the carrots. This has been my take on the Korean short rib stew, Galpi Jin. It is made literally from memory. And today, I make it in memory of Halmani. And I imagine her in her silk brocade jacket. This time, eyes full of expression, either winking or wincing. <laughs>